was the first night at the chateau last night and I had a little bit of a rough night getting to sleep because the ducks were so loud. <laughs> so eventually um, I just put in my headphones and put on some like rain sounds and was able to fall asleep. Um, but it was like 3 a.m. Um, I'm actually feeling a lot better this morning though. I think that the time difference was also throwing me off. So I'm excited to just be creative today. We're gonna start today with breakfast and then like our first dance class. And then there's different options for classes that we can do throughout the day, um, like a photography, videography, and a storytelling class, which is really cool, which is amazing because I had this incredible idea as I was falling asleep last night um, for this, this idea for a story and it's kind of has elements of a fairy tale within it um, but it has some modern modern elements and lessons as well and um, yeah I'm really excited to write it I just I thought of like all the plot points and um, I was just very inspired falling asleep um, just thinking of this and I don't want to say too much because I don't want to jinx it but I think I'm going to try to write a story this week so that's the first thing that's happened that's really creative. And um, I've been wanting to write kind of a story that I could illustrate for some time now, um, but I haven't had an idea, like a really solid idea for a story. And I didn't want to write it unless I was very excited about it. So this morning, I was just, I was just so excited about it. So I jotted down all the ideas and I'm going to try to carve out some time this week to just, to write everything. So... Yeah, excited. I'm so terrible. Coffee. Does anyone need Netflix anything? So So me and some of the other girls just took a walk around the whole property and there's cows, there's chickens, there's um, lots of water. So like there's like a little lake and there's streams and it's so pretty and um, there's forests and out the window you can see some water lilies here. And if you could see that. And the cows were there but they're they're out there somewhere. But um, yeah, just so excited to be here and to be just in such an inspiring place to make art for the week. So we're going to head down to dinner now and going to eat some food because I am super, super hungry after all that traveling today. When do we begin? Hello and welcome to the Chateau. So I'm here on the Muses um, Artist Residency and it's been an amazing experience so far. Today is our second full day. So this is an amazing retreat that is held in France. Um, the Muses do these retreats all over the world. So I've been to the one in Scotland, which was incredible, but um, this one in France is really on another level. And I'm loving it for so many reasons. Um, so it is dance-based, um, which means that we have this amazing instructor, Belinda, and she um, she's like, she's a, a very accomplished ballet and modern dance um, 
person, dancer, and she is training us in dance. And we're gonna create this dance film by the end of the week. So it's been really amazing just collaborating with all the other women. There's over 20 women here and um, everyone is so nice. Like people have been commenting that like there's no clicks and um, everyone is just so nice to each other. So I think, I think everyone's having like a similar experience in that way. Um, but yeah, I'm getting so many creative ideas as I'm here. And I don't know about you, but sometimes my creativity can get blocked out by all the other life stuff that I have to take care of, like paying the bills and um, cleaning the house, doing the laundry, just like the normal life stuff, you know? And um, being here and everything is taken care of and you're really not allowed to worry about anything else like at home. So, uh, so I'm just getting so many creative ideas. Like, um, I got this idea for this fairy tale story, and I've been writing that. And I got these ideas for these two films, and we're going to be creating those because everyone is encouraged to do personal projects as well. So it's been a really amazing experience so far. Plus, it's just amazingly gorgeous. I want to show you guys like the place where we're staying. So we're actually staying at this manor house i know just like take a look at that for a second it is like stunning i feel like i should be going to a ball there and like meeting mr darcy there or something <laughs> like when we pulled up to this chateau um in our taxi and we got out i felt like i was like getting out of a carriage and stepping into another time period so it was really wonderful my room is super cute. I'm going to show you my room as well. Um, I'm sharing it with another lovely girl. And um, yeah, everything has been truly wonderful and the food has been amazing as well. So yeah, this is, this is a major thing that I had to plan for. Most of these girls had to plan for this like in a major way. Um, <clears throat> because me based in Pennsylvania to come all the way to France, I mean, obviously you had to just make a lot of time in your schedule for that as well as save for it because you know flights are not super cheap and um yeah but i felt like this experience was worth it like for my art and for my future and for my inspiration because the last residency that i went on with the muses it really like woke me out of my artistic slumber and um yeah, I hadn't painted in seven months before I went on that trip. And then when I went on that trip, it was such an interesting experience in Scotland that I, um, I started painting again. And I just got so much clarity about what I wanted to paint and how I wanted to paint it that, yeah, it was totally worth it to go. So I felt the same way about this trip. And, uh, you know, it's only two days in, so there's a lot more to explore and experience, but um, I'm really excited for how things are going. And so tonight, I'm actually going to make a dance film with some of the girls. Um, and I actually have to go get ready for that right now because we're meeting in like five minutes. But I just want to take some time to record and share how the residency is going. And um, yeah, it's just so magical. This is my favorite spot on the property. Looks like an enchanted grove. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon.
Another beautiful day at the chateau. We have Napoleon or somebody watching out for us. I'm about to go paint outside. And I got this lavender ink in Paris. And I can't wait to try it out. So here we go. So this is the library. This is where you go to learn many books. It's very lovely. Lots of leather, couches and things. Such a beautiful room. I was just in here for the last little bit and I have been writing the story that I told you about this morning. So it's happening, yes. And there's Hannah in the corner. Mm -hmm. to mind. Sometimes it, they're male water spirits, but they tend to be, um, they tend to be female. Mm -hmm. They have your merman, but they're few and far between. I do have a question. We were actually talking about this last Yay, just finished a little piece. And my friend Kirsten here. She made one too. This gorgeous place to work from. Just finished a little painting here been working with this blue ink, which is really fun, and painting this gorgeous place. I just spent a really relaxing morning here. I love working with ink because it's so 
kind of unpredictable. Like you never really know how it's gonna behave. So it's part of its charm. Yeah. It's nice to work with just one color too, because it, it limits your choices, which kind of simplifies things. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. 